Hi, Mr. Richards here, and today's lesson is on angles of triangles. Our objective today is to find missing angle measures in triangles. In our real world link, Caroline and Emily are building a bridge out of toothpicks for a science competition. Emily thinks the side should be constructed using triangles. Use the activity to find the sum of the measures of the angles in a triangle. Now lines M and N are parallel. Lines P and R are transversals that intersect at point A. Now what is true about the measures of angle 1 and angle 2? And explain. Well, if M and N are parallel lines, and they are, and this line, P, is the transversal, both angles 1 and 2 are on the inside of the parallel lines. On opposite sides of this transversal, one's on the left, one's on the right, we can say that they are equal because they are alternate interior angles. And that's what we'll say. They are equal because they are alternate interior angles. Now what is true about the measures of angles 3 and 4 explain? Well here's 3, here's 4 and if this time we shift our attention to line R, both 3 and 4 are on the inside of lines M and N. 3 is on the right side of the transversal, 4 is on the left side, so these also look like they are alternate interior angles again. So we once again can say they are equal because They are alternate interior angles. Next, we're being asked to look at angles 1, 5, and 3, and what kind of angle is formed by angle 1, by angle 5, and by angle 3. Write an equation representing the relationship between the three angles. Well, Here's angle 1, angle 5, and angle 3. It appears that they both, or all three, form this straight line. Well, if they were forming a straight line, then this means that this is a straight angle. And think back. Straight angles have a measure of 180 degrees. So we can say that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 5 plus the measure of angle 3, these are all going to add up to be 180. Lastly, use the information from exercises 1, 2, and 3 to draw a conclusion about the sum of the measures of the angles of triangle A, B, C and explain your reasoning. Well, let's look at what we've proven. We know 1 and 2 are equal. We know 3 and 4 are equal. And we know 1 plus 5 plus 3, well, those 3 add up to be 180 degrees. So if I look here, angle 1 and angle 2 are equal, angle 3 and angle 4 are equal, and 1 plus 3 plus 5 was 180 degrees. Well, again, the measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle 2, the measure of angle 3 is equal to the measure of angle 4, and so if we just use a little bit of substitution, if 1, 5, 3 equal 180, 
then 2, 5, 4 also equal 180 degrees. So the conclusion we can write here is that the sum of the measures of the angles in triangle ABC, and we're just going to write that as with the triangle and the letters ABC, is 180 degrees. And why? Well, since the measure of angle 1 equals the measure of angle 2, and the measure of angle 3 equals the measure of angle 4, and the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 5 plus the measure of angle 3 equals 180, then by substitution, The measure of angle, oops, out of room there, measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 5 plus the measure of angle 4 equals 180 degrees. So I got to the bottom of my screen there. So again, 1 and 2 are equal, so we just flop out 1 and 2. 3 and 4 are equal, so we just switched out, substituted out 3 and 4. And if 1 plus 5 plus 3 is 180, then by substitution, 2, 5, and 4 are also 180 degrees. So we just proved, using straight angles and alternate interior angles and substitution, that the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. And if that wasn't proof to you enough, here is our key concept for today. The angle sum of a triangle the sum of the measures of the interior angles, the inside angles of a triangle, is 180 degrees. Now, a triangle is formed by three line segments that intersect only at their endpoints. A point where the segments intersect is a vertex, so we have the points here that are vertex. The angle formed by the segments that lies inside the triangle is called an interior angle, so we have the inside angles of the triangle. So in our example here, we're told to find the value of x in the Antigua and Barbado flag. Sorry to butcher that name there. Well, three angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees, and they have 55 and 90. So x plus 55 plus 90 is 180. 55 plus 90 simplified to 145. They solved the equation by subtracting the 145 from both sides to get x equals 35. And now we're going to see if we can do something similar. If we draw a triangle that's just a random triangle that's x, y, z, if the measure of angle x is 72 degrees and the measure of angle y is 74 degrees, then what is the measure of angle z? Well, I'll just label z as z here. Well, following the same setup, z plus 72 plus 74, the three angles inside a triangle have to add up to 180 degrees. And if we continue simplifying here, then z plus 72 plus 74 is 146 equals 180 degrees. Then to solve for z, we can subtract the 146 from both sides. And z is going to equal 30 four degrees. And that is our simplified answer. Now this gets to be fun. The measure of the angles of triangle ABC are in the ratio 1 to 4 to 5. What are the measures of the angle? Well, if the measure of angle A, which is our one side here, we're going to say ABC, if we just say the 1 is x, well if 1 is x then it would be 1x, 4x, 5x. Well, just like in the last question where we did z plus 72 plus 74 equals 180, we can now go, okay, x plus 4x plus 5x equals 180. 
simplify the expression to get 10x equals 180 by 1x plus 4x plus 5x is 10x. Divide by 10 on both sides to get x equals 18. But you're not done there yet. That just represents x. To get your other two sides, you have to take 4 times the 18 to get 72 and 5 times the 18 to get 90 to determine the three angles are 18 degrees, 72 degrees, and 90 degrees. And now we get to try this out on our own. The measures of the angles in, of triangle LMN are in the ratio of 2, 4, 6. What are the measures of the angles? So what if we represent side L as 2x? Well, if we did that, we would have 2x plus 4x plus 6x equals 180 degrees. Well, 2x plus 4x plus 6x is 12x equals 180 degrees. And if we divide by 12 to find out what our x is, x is going to equal 15. Now, we have three sides, or three angles here, and three sides too, but three angles is what we're looking at. To figure out side L, we have to take 2 times 15, and we get 30 degrees. To get side, or angle M, we would take 2, not 2, how about 4 times 15, and that is 60 degrees. And to get side N, we would take 6 times 15, and we would end up with 90 degrees. So our three angles are 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. It's one thing to be able to solve for x here, but then you have to make sure you substitute the x back in to solve. So now that we know how to solve the interior angles of a triangle, let's move to the exterior, the outside of the triangle. The measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measures of the two remote interior angles. So to find angle 1 on the outside here, the outside of C, you can find the measure of angle A, add it to the measure of angle B, and that will equal the measure of angle one. Interesting. So in addition to its three interior angles, a triangle can have an exterior angle formed by one side of the triangle and the extension of the adjacent side. So basically extending the side or extending the sides out here. Each exterior angle of the triangle has two remote interior angles that are not adjacent to the exterior angles. So in this triangle, angle four is an exterior angle of the triangle. It's two remote interior angles. It's not going to be one that's adjacent. It's going to be two and three. And what we can say here is, well, the measure of angle four is going to equal the measure of angle two plus three. Let's take a look at an example. Suppose the measure of angle four is 135 degrees. Okay, I'm going to write that in. find the measure of angle 2. Well, 4 is an exterior angle, and its two remote interior angles are this angle 2 and this right angle, which they label here as angle L, K, M. Well, since the measure of angle 2 plus this 90 degrees has to equal this 135, we can set up an equation that, okay, angle 2 will say is X plus the right angle 90 degrees has to equal 135. If we subtract the 90 degrees from both sides, we get this angle, too, is 45 degrees. And now we get to try this out on our own. Refer to the figure at the right. Suppose the measure of angle 5 is 147 degrees. Find the measure of angle 1, and angle 1 is right here. Well, the two remote angles for angle 5 are going to be the right angle and angle 1. So we can say that the measure of angle 1 plus 
the measure of angle to name this one. We don't have, we're not gonna quite call it K. We can call this MKL or LKM, and we'll just call it LKM. Basically, those two are going to add up to be the measure of angle five. Now, we don't know the measure of angle one, so we can call that X. We know that the measure of LKM, this angle here, is 90 degrees. And we know they have to add up to be the measure of angle five, which is 147 degrees. Well, subtract the 90 from both sides. And X equals 57 degrees. That's it for this lesson. Good luck.